Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, <clears throat> and when we give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a hell of a show for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. If you want today's full show, uh, it is streaming for free on the Dreamers Pro Podcast. And make sure to follow me on Instagram. My handle is C-T-A-B-A-N-Z and follow uh, the channel. You got to excuse me. I've been dealing with this cough. I don't know where the hell it came from. But anyway. Yesterday, there was a marquee game that took place uh, in the NBA uh, between the, it was an ESPN game actually, between the Los Angeles Clippers uh, and the Golden State Warriors, right? Now, that game was starting pretty late where I was, which was 4 a.m. And I'm like, nah, man, I'm not staying up to watch that game. But I remember waking up at a certain point, I think it was in the third quarter, and I just checked my phone, the uh, NBA.com app, and I actually saw that the Clippers were actually down 10 points. And I was like, man, I'm just going to go back to bed because the Clippers are going to lose. But then what happens? I wake up and I see that the Clippers actually won the game 130 to 125. And I was like, what the hell just happened here? So I immediately decided, okay, when I wake up, well, like I got to go look at the highlights, right? So I go look at the highlights of what the hell happened. And when I started looking at the highlights, it was like this. I mean, it was a heated game. You had... Mason Plumley going at this guy. You had Draymond Green, who's always in the mix, going at Paul George. Draymond made this weird ass face, like sticking his tongue out. And bro, did he goes to the side of the um, he goes to the, the to the to the to the bench of the Golden State Warriors, and he's holding up four fingers, like flashing his rings at Paul George and them. And you know, it was just really really contentious game. And then as I'm watching uh, a little bit further, I didn't see that head coach Tyron Lue gets ejected out of the game. He gets ejected. So I had to go back and look at the replay. And apparently Ty Lue was having this back and forth with the referees. And then he he did a U-turn back to the referees. He was trying to say something to them. And then they tossed him out of the game. So what happened? Uh, this morning, um, I came across an article uh, from fadeawayworld.net uh, where they were basically highlighting an audio of Ty Lu post game, essentially calling the referees cheaters, saying all they do is cheat, all they do is cheat. But before we even get into his comments, this video is brought to you by our sponsor, Prize Picks. Prize Picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And once again, once you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do is want to quickly play what Ty Lue had to say. It's only like a 13 second clip. And then we're going to come back and continue on the show. Take a listen to what Ty Lue had to say here. So you heard what Ty Lue had to say. When he said that, I was like, hmm, you know for sure he's going to get fined by the NBA. There's no way the NBA is going to let that one slide, especially, especially uh, coming from a head coach. Now, if it comes from a player, that's another thing. They're going to find him anyway. But when it comes from a head coach, that's even more serious. I think the reason they deem it as being more serious is because um, usually players are in a game. Their emotions are running high because they're, you know, they're competing. Whereas a coach, it should be a little bit more measured uh, with their response. For, for him to say that, and you saw all of those cameras, he was going through the tunnel actually saying that, you know, that says a lot. So let's actually address his comments of the refs were cheating, the refs were cheating. Well, uh, 
few weeks ago, a number of weeks ago, there was a game that was played between the Lakers and the Toronto Raptors, where the Toronto Raptors head coach was going off on the referees again. He's like, "Listen, if you, if if you know, like, if this is how the way is going, the game is going to be. If you're going to decide the game before we get it, just tell us so we don't bother coming all the way over here, right?" So it's not the first time that we've heard NBA coaches go at refs. It's not the first time, but in the case of Ty Lu, I had to sit back and ask myself, "Well, why is he saying this?" Because he said. They always, not they cheating, they always be cheating. And it made me think to myself, okay, he's been the Clippers head coach for the past three years. What would make him say that? Well, there's one thing about the Clippers is quite weird when it comes to the NBA, and that's the scheduling. Um, the Clippers have this very weird relationship with the with the front office who, who puts together the schedule. They usually have one of the worst schedules in the NBA. Um, another place where this was evident was the 2021 playoffs. For those of you who may not be aware or don't remember, during that playoff run, the Clippers, all the way up to the Western Conference Finals, were given no more than one day's rest between games, including travel. Other teams, you see them rest for two days, some teams three days, and the Clippers, they were playing every other night all the way to game six of the Western Conference Finals. And I'm saying to myself, what kind of scheduling is it? Like, who does this type of scheduling? Who would put a schedule like this together, right? Like, this is a ridiculous schedule. But nevertheless, it always happens. I've heard some players talk about it, like Paul George complain about the scheduling. But to hear Ty Lu <clears throat> uh, come out there and say that, that's pretty damning. Um, because he's implying that there was some type of favoritism towards the Warriors. Now, I don't know that. What I do know is that these two teams don't like each other. I heard Stephen Curry's comments at the end of the game where he said, I can't stand losing to those guys. So there's a little thing brewing. Of, and of course, when you got Suge Knight on the court and Draymond Green, he's always ready to stir things up there. But I thought it was, it was pretty, pretty damning. So the question I have for the audience is this. Do you think there's any truth to what Ty Lue is saying? Or do you think that he's just saying that because his emotions were running high? And if you say that he was only saying it because his emotions were running high, wouldn't it make sense for him to say that if they lost? But in this case, he said it in a victory. So whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We'll catch you on the next show. Peace.